Hey guys, today I'm gonna try and cook dinner straight from the garden. let the garden go a little bit. We've been uh, putting our energies in other places. We kind of forgot that we can come out here to go shopping for dinner. Look what Lizzie got. Awesome! I love tomatillos. Here we go. Let's get some peppers. We could put some peppers on pizza. That's the best bell pepper we've ever grown from our garden. Oh, I'm so excited. We just picked these two zucchini and they popped up from a plant over there that I didn't even know was, was a zucchini, so that was a cool surprise. Oh, looks like the bugs are getting these ones. Oh, we'll pick that one. Glad you found me, sweetie. My sweet little blue-haired baby. Okay, that's fine. I'll eat it. It's crazy coming out here after not being out here for a while. Things have grown so much. In fact, we already have another broccoli harvest. Look at this. We just leave the broccoli here. After we pick the initial stalks and they're growing, I think this is the second, maybe third time that these plants have been harvested, so that's cool. And Trent figured out today, because I was kind of having a panic attack, we don't have room in our freezer at all um, to freeze our broccoli. So Trent pickled it. So we'll have to show you if that turns out. We'll show you and tell you how we did it. So that's kind of fun. So this giant mess here is my tomato patch. You can tell because look, there are some green tomatoes. Lots and lots of green tomatoes. I cannot wait for these to get ripe. Look. We can find some that are ripe. Where are the ripe ones? Far, far away. Should we go check for ripe ones? Show me. Yeah, because guess what? The poke stuff is growing some spaghetti squash. Yep. Yay! Whoa. Should we go around? Yeah. That is a zinnia. I love zinnia. zinnia. Um, and these are looking gorgeous. That's 
sounds yummy. And this is our lentil patch, which we let weeds grow in because they seemed to be enjoying the shade. So here they are. We might regret that because weeding is going to be much more difficult now that the roots are tangled up. Now, over here. There's our tomato. They're all green, huh? I don't see any red ones. Me either, but they smell good. They do. Yeah, they smell like the red ones. <laughs> but let's see if there's more. So this is an awesome time, uh, kind of a challenge that we've always wanted to live up to, but it takes a lot of hard work, um, is to basically cook most of our dinners 100% from our own uh, garden. Today is going to be that day where I have to live up to that challenge that I've given to myself because it is time for dinner. I need to be cooking right now. And I don't have any cheese, and um, so we're gonna have to make our own cheese for the pizza. That's what I've decided to make because we've got zucchini and peppers. I think that'll be delicious on a pizza, but I don't have any cheese, so guess it's time to make cheese. to make some cheese. We've got tons and tons of milk in here. Thing is, I actually don't really know how to make cheese. Well, I do, but I'd have to ask Trent for help. Easier than that, I asked Trent to do it for me. <laughs> Let's see if Trent wants to make some cheese for us. <laughs> There's Daddy, up on the roof. Hey Trent! Yeah. Yeah. Is it okay if you make some cheese? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Love you. Love you. The learning curve of me having to be taught how to make cheese is a lot longer a space of time than it would take for Trent to just make it for us. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do. He's so awesome to do that for us. Sorry, I'm dripping away on you. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow.
We just love homemade food, especially when it includes fresh produce from the garden. Don't forget to bid on yesterday's painting. It's still available for auction, and you can click on the link below in the description to bid on it.